when it comes to makeup. I like things to be very easy, very like one, two, skidoo, like not too much, not too crazy, not too many steps, not too many products. Like I prefer it to be one and done. So with this, uh, yes, she was a little bit more sharp, but I definitely just like went along my lash line, kind of like haphazardly, like not in any type of like not in any type of technical or like really precise way. I just kind of like scribbled on my eyelid and I took a fluffier brush and I just blend it. I like cold eyeliners to do that because they allow that. Like they allow, this is very pigmented, but it's also creamy and you can smudge it and you can blend it. And that's what I did. And I just blended and blended and blended. <laughs> And then since it's a cold eyeliner, it will set. Um, and then you'll have a long wear smoky eye and you literally only use this eyeliner. Plot twist. That I had lipstick on my teeth. Plot twist. This is, yeah, this is a really, really good eyeliner. It's smooth. It's extra creamy. Like it's not drying. Um, it was not like dragging across my eye, which was really good. But it's also, I know I just said it's creamy, but it's not too creamy if that makes any sense. Like it's gonna dry down. And I just lined my waterline. I gave a nice wing shape. I like to do a nice kind of like, cause it snatches the face a little bit. It picks things up. So I like to wing it out a little bit like that. Um, and yeah, I just blended with a fluffier brush. I could have brought the blush. Maybe next week we'll talk about brushes. Maybe. But yeah, that was it. I did go on top of it, uh, which is like a black powder shadow, very, very gently to almost like set it. Uh, and if you don't have a black shadow or you don't want it to get more intense, you could literally just use a translucent powder, like a loose powder on your brush. And just, did, just press it into press it into your skin or into your eye and that will let it set um, and it'll last longer. Yeah, one, two. Also another really good trick I learned uh, back in my Estee Lauder days or back in my counter days. If you take an eyeliner like this, you can also like draw a circle on your hand with the eyeliner, which essentially you're like warming the eyeliner up. Um, and then you will just, you could just do that and put on your eye. It has to be the right kind of eyeliner. This will be the right kind of eyeliner. A cold, anything like that will be the right kind of eyeliner. And another very cute plot twist is you could go on top of it if you want to give more of a, a glossy eye, more of like a wet look, but you wanted to keep it smoky then yeah, you could use this and then you could top it off with your favorite gloss. We know how I feel about Citizens Cosmetics gloss. Um, and they are really loud today, wow. Um, yeah, you can top it off with any type of gloss or anything like that. And it would almost give you like a creamy shadow effect. Please be mindful of that unless you're using a very, very like extra extreme, extra extreme waterproof mascara that the gloss will possibly break it down. So this might not be the longest wear look, you know, like you might want to do it where you want to like a cute date where you're keeping it cute, you're keeping it light, but maybe not for a party. Cause then you'll be looking like a raccoon by the end, you know? And I don't want that for you. Unless that's your thing. If that's your thing, then I want that for you. But I wouldn't want that for me, so. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> so yeah, call me fantastic. Call me fantastic. I'm gonna just give you another little swatch, another little swiper. Let me see, it's very pigmented. I guess I could kind of show you what I meant before. Like you could just like draw a circle and do this to warm it up. 
And bam, place it on your eye, honey. Even if like touch up, it's even good for me to touch up what I did. Um, and then to still give like depth underneath, to still give depth around my eye. And she, thank you. And you know, to also bring out the brown in my eyes. I'm still, I still did a little line around, just a, a, a lash line to give a little more depth to my eyelashes, you know, all that jazz. And then of course, to round it all out, I did a little bottom eyeliner because like, you can't have all this on the top and nothing on the bottom. It's kind of weird, you know? Like, yeah, so. Call me fantastic, call me fantastic. <laughs> Eyeliner in ultra black. It's one of my favorite tricks, honestly. I love like a two minute smoky eye. I think a smoky eye that takes longer than like two minutes and that requires more than maybe like one eyeshadow color is really just kind of doing too much in my humble opinion. So <laughs> that's the Natasha Moore eyeliner. And then since we are talking Natasha Moore, let's get into 